Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Sawolu speaks on the clash between the House, the uh, Speaker of the House of Assembly in Lagos State, Obase, and himself, you know, on political appointees, you know, what is going on in the state. The truth of the matter is, Tinubu caused this, okay, with the clashes going on. Tinubu became the godfather of everybody. People not all get respect for one another. So much so that even if you are the governor of the state, nobody send you because we are all loyal to the same master. In fact, the Obas said, Sanwolu is not his boss. He's not higher than him. Do you get what I mean? There was a big clash because Sanwolu, according to him, suggested a few people to be appointed. And the guy told Sanwolu off, no, you don't, you don't do that. Don't send that to me. Don't do that. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on that have happened. And every single person can see that these things are happening and these things are going on. Say, so, you know, people need to understand the truth, you know, and he talked about the clash. All these are, like I said, is a function of what is going on with, you know, Tinubu being the, the master leader, the head of the, you know, uh, where they say Godfather. Uh -huh. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Sam Wolu speaks on the clash between himself and Obas led assembly as he sworn in political appointees in the state. The Lagos state governor, Mr. Babajide Sam Wolu, yesterday sworn in 37 commissioners and special advisors charging them to engage collaboratively and work together to build the success of the incumbent administration first four years in office. The State Executive Council, which is a mix of politicians and technocraft with 29 male and 8 female, was made up of 18 returning members of the immediate past cabinet members and 19 new names. Speaking at the swearing-in ceremony of the State Executive Council, held at the Adeyemi Auditorium in Ikeja, the governor, Sanwolu, who charged his team to do, his, do their best to suppress the expectation of the Lagos residents, also dismissed insinuations with the State Assembly, saying there is no rift between them. However, he's only saying this to be nice and gentle and to make it look mild with all that is going on. He said the new cabinet has been carefully and carefully chosen, adding that there are, by any measure, some of our best brains and people, not just in Lagos State, but right around the country. These are men and women who can and will hold their own end anytime at the end of the day. These are people who are ready to build Lagos State to make it a center of excellence. Lagosians should therefore rejoice in their selection and expect quality service and performance in months and years to come. The tax of this new cabinet is clear. It is to build on the success of our administration. First four years in office, it is to take our people closer to our dream of a greater Lagos and expectation of our people have not have never been higher than right now. So we must do our very best. Doing your best to meet them is therefore not an option. It is the least you, I, you will be expected to do. Lagos is the center of excellence. Your work will be excellent in every ramification. You must put in your best. Don't listen to rumor. Let's work together. You see, Anna, you don't take that part, Abi. Don't listen to rumor. So this is what is happening now, and uh, we all just need to know it. You know, we need, to, we need to understand it. You know, we need to understand it very carefully, you know. So everybody is beginning to really pay attention to some of these issues that are going on and is encouraging the people not to listen to rumor. Why is that? Is, that? is it that there is something more for us to really understand with what is going on in Lagos State? And that is because there are issues, okay, bordering around some of these areas and some of these things going on. Nigerians, it is time that every single person arise and do not allow the same thing to repeat itself again and again. Like I earlier reiterated, you know, the Speaker of the House has been there for quite some time now. You know, there are some position that is like your father's own property in this country. Mm. When they get there, they stay there forever and ever. 
you know, he's been the Speaker of the House now uh, in Lagos State for some time. And he's having this riff with, uh, you know, Sam Wolu. It's not as if Sam Wolu himself is a saint, oh. but why this, all this is really the cracks are beginning to show in the war is because, you know, uh, because of the, some of the things that are going on, you know, and uh, we really hope that things will be better in the, not just for the, not just uh, in the states, but for the people. Because at the end of the day, every set of people needs leaders and these leaders will channel and give direction in terms of what is going on and help the nation to be better. So everybody needs to get on board and understand some of these things that are going on. You know, so Nigeria, it is, it is, uh, it is what it is. And if there is any time where we all need to ensure that we are doing everything humanly speaking possible, so that we can rise, you know, and get to where we need to be, it is now more than ever before. Okay, it is this time that every single person needs to begin to build. We must, we must concentrate on nation building. If the nation is built, it will be built for. It's just like a house. If you don't put the roof, when the rain comes, you will, you will swim in the rain. If you don't put things in place, you will have to go through it. So uh, Tinubu has made himself the godfather. So everybody respects the godfather. But no, there is no respect, if, so to say, among the individuals. So people see themselves like, I can only respect such an individual. You know, and that's not to say that, you know, that's not to say that uh, the, the work is for, or that one person is bigger than the other person is a collaborative effort in order to build okay and make that place a better place so these are some of the things that are going on some of the things that are happening and every single person can see that it is time to really make you know an advancement so he was you know commissioning the new making commission of the new commissioners and he just had to speak because whether you like it or not is in the news everybody knows you are the one who think nobody knows you know and um, people are watching just like different situations and scenarios and things that are going on Everybody knows exactly what is going on and what is happening. So we really need to continue to hope that this nation become better and the crop of leaders we are having is not a monopolistic nature. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a government, a leadership where people are free to, you know, to express and expand and the nation can truly advance in all ramification and make, you know, Nigeria a better place. So these are some of the things that are going on and every single person can see and every single person can see some of the things that are happening. Anyway, my lovely people, you can see, you know, and we are all in this together that Nigeria, you know, belongs to us. And um, each state it starts from the state level, as it were, from local government to the to the state level, to, you know, to 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 the federation. We all need to build and pay attention to nation building so that together we can make a lot of difference. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Remember, you are in this and we are all in it together to make a difference. Let's continue to hope that Nigeria becomes a better place for every single person so we can truly have the nation of our dream. Bye for now.